I want to speak to you from um, the scripture reference, John 14 and verse 30. John 14 and verse 30 says, I will no longer talk much with you. For the rule of this world is coming and he is and he has nothing in me. I will no longer talk much with you for the rule of this world is coming and he has nothing in me. John 14 and verse 30. John 14 and verse 30. This morning the rule of this world is coming. He has no power over me is what the Bible is saying. No power over you. Is what I want to share with you this morning. No power over you. The Bible says the accuser of our brothers and sisters, uh, and I do hope you can hear me loud and clear. The, the accuser of our brothers and sisters has brought hurled, uh, has been hurled down. That's what the Bible says. They triumph over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. In Revelation 12, verse 10 and, and 11, the accuser is Satan, my brothers and sisters. The accuser is Lucifer. And he accuses us because of our sins. God is ready to forgive us. But we first need to acknowledge our sin. Then ask for and accept forgiveness. Ask for it and accept forgiveness. It's not just about asking. But you need to accept that you are forgiven. If we refuse to admit, admit it and uh, repent of it we give satan an opportunity to condemn us for it it gives him the power over us but jesus said the kingdom of this world that's satan is coming the kingdom of this world is, um, is coming he has no power over me satan couldn't point to a single sin in jesus's life could not so he had absolutely no power over him the good news for us is that when we're in Christ, Satan loses his power. Amen? When we're in Christ, Satan loses his power to condemn us to. There is therefore now no condemnation, the Bible says, to those who are in Christ, Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. In Romans 8 and verse 1. You with me this morning? We'll still sin from time to time yeah we're still gonna sin from time to time but we're not perfect for real because we're not perfect at all but when we repent god will cleanse us work with us and he will give us victory over our weaknesses as long as we're positioned securely in christ who has no sin We'll live with the joy of knowing that we're fully accepted by God. And Satan's plans, Satan's accusations will just bounce off of us. Amen? It'll just bounce off of us. So if Satan whispers something in your ears, if Satan whispered and said, you sinned, you're not a real Christian, don't believe that. Don't believe him. As long as you're in Christ, you're simply a Christian. You're simply a Christian under construction. And knowing that there's a powerful weapon out of Satan's hands. There's a powerful weapon that is out of Satan's hands. You're in God's hands, my brothers and sisters. So this morning, I want us to reflect and think about it. He has no power over you. Do you have any unconfessed sins? that's weighing you down do you have anything that's bothering you that's bugging you out you you you've sinned against god and yourself and it's bothering you and bugging you out take some time to talk to god today about it take some time to reason with god about it today and you uh, and as you do that just picture jesus standing beside you covering you covering you with his righteousness covering you with his love and covering you with his acceptance he loves you and he accepts you for who you are amen for who you are so don't be ashamed don't be afraid don't be ashamed and afraid to talk to him because he loves you more than anything 
he loves you more than anything and so this morning i want you to know once again that the devil satan has no power over you i will no longer talk much with you for the ruler of this world is coming and he has nothing nothing in me he has nothing in me the ruler of this world is coming he has no power no power at all over me god bless you this morning and i pray that these words will fill your heart and touch your heart and your soul in jesus name amen and amen god bless you today